Ecclesiasticus chapter 3. Hear me, your father, O children, and do thereafter, that ye may be safe. For the Lord hath given the father honor over the children, and hath confirmed the authority of the mother over the sons. Whoso honoreth his father maketh an atonement for his sins, and he that honoreth his mother is as one that layeth up treasure. Whoso honoreth his father shall have joy of his own children, and when he maketh his prayer, he shall be heard. He that honoreth his father shall have a long life, and he that is obedient unto the Lord shall be a comfort to his mother. He that feareth the Lord will honor his father, and will do service unto his parents as to his masters. Honor thy father and mother both in word and deed, that a blessing may come upon thee from them. For the blessing of the father establisheth the houses of children, but the curse of the mother rooteth out foundations. Glory not in the dishonor of thy father, for thy father's dishonor is no glory unto thee. For the glory of a man is from the honor of his father, and a mother in dishonor is a reproach to the children. My son, help thy father in his age, and grieve him not as long as he liveth. And if his understanding fail, have patience with him, and despise him not when thou art in thy full strength. For the relieving of thy father shall not be forgotten, and instead of sins it shall be added to build thee up. In the day of thine affliction it shall be remembered. Thy sins also shall melt away as the ice in the fair warm weather. He that forsaketh his father is as a blasphemer, and he that angereth his mother is cursed of God. My son, go on with thy business in meekness, so shalt thou be beloved of him that is approved. The greater thou art, the more humble thyself, and thou shalt find favor before the Lord. Many are in high place and of renown, but mysteries are revealed unto the meek. For the power of the Lord is great, and he is honored of the lowly. Seek not out things that are too hard for thee, neither search the things that are above thy strength. But what is commanded thee, think thereupon with reverence. For it is not needful for thee to see with thine eyes the things that are in secret. Be not curious in unnecessary matters, for more things are showed unto thee than men understand. For many are deceived by their own vain opinion, and an evil suspicion hath overthrown their judgment. Without eyes thou shalt want light. Profess not the knowledge, therefore, that thou hast not. A stubborn heart shall fare evil at the last, and he that loveth danger shall perish therein. An obstinate heart shall be laden with sorrows, and the wicked man shall heap sin upon sin. In the punishment of the proud there is no remedy, for the plant of wickedness hath taken root in him. The heart of the prudent will understand a parable, and an attentive ear is the desire of a wise man. Water will quench a flaming fire, and alms maketh an atonement for sins. And he that requiteth good turns is mindful of that which may come hereafter, and when he falleth he shall find a stay.